<laughs> and good morning on this beautiful Tuesday morning. 52 degrees. Gee, what's Jaime doing in the Yeah, kitchen? okay. I got you, Jaime. <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AEM. Hey, when y'all ride by the studio, got me a new sign out front. Real, real sophisticated too. Easily we'll get, entertained. We want to give a shout out to Craig this morning down at Athens Sign Works down here in front of the Railroad Bazaar. Did a great job on it too. Jamie Cooper Television. Anyway, that's me. Here's what's going on. This is Athens in the AM. I just told y'all that. Mayor Ronnie Marks may be with us later on this morning. Michelle Elkins is supposed to be here. Plus, I got video of the car show this weekend before it started really raining down that way. Didn't have the usual crowd because it was just a horrible day to have it, but rain or shine, it went on. A lot of stuff happening. Went to the big gala the other night. I'll tell you all about how my night went. <laughs> went so well, I didn't even hear the storm Saturday night. <laughs> Understand, it was quite stormy. But anyway, we'll talk more. I was able to make a church Sunday morning, though. We'll talk more about how we ended that night with our limo ride and the great restaurant we went to. That'll come up here later on this morning. Can't lot believe of, Gwen Williams. A lot of things are happening, so we'll talk about that. Had a fun weekend. As Dora tells you, going to be a roaster today. Want to give a shout out to my buddy Lonnie Lemon. Lonnie's going to be up here entertaining with us this Friday morning. He's going to be singing a little bit. Lonnie, now you remember Lonnie Lemon? He, they used to have a song out, Frank, called, uh, what was it? I got the finger, she got the ring, or she got the ring, I got the finger, something like that. I think that's well, the way. Maybe get him to sing that some more. Anyway, y'all got something going on y'all need to let us know about. It. Don't forget, you can always email me, if y'all still do email, countryrover at gmail.com. And if you ain't advertising with us, you are missing out on the best way to let everybody know what you're doing. Also, coming up Friday, Evan Truffin is going to be joining us. If y'all any hail damage over the weekend, y'all need to call Misty and Mark Evans down there. And by the way, Tom, yep, Evan Truffin right there, Tom is out of the hospital. Give a Yay. shout out to her long lost buddy, Tom McAllister, this morning. He made Frank it. says he's, he was up there when Tom was loading up. Yep. He, did he walk home? No. He probably would have because he's been in the hospital for two weeks. But anyway, we did our fair share of the things with Athens Limestone Hospital, too. I want to give a shout-out to Jimmy Smith and Austin, too. i got a story, Jimmy, you'll appreciate coming up just a little bit. We talked about the other night. Right now, let's get things cranking. Oh, here's the weather woman to tell us it's going to be a roaster today. It is going to be absolutely beautiful today. If you have a pool, you may want to be out by that pool. Yeah, we certainly will. We can't wait. Yes, April has been bad, but we're going to talk about an article that was in the newspaper in just a moment. 52 degrees out there feels absolutely wonderful. High of 82 today. Plenty of sunshine. A little cloudy skies around 12 o'clock, but not all clouds. Still a lot of sun. Tomorrow, your high temperatures of 81 with your low of 59. 30% chance of those scattered showers. And look at the rest of the forecast. A little cooler temperatures moving on in over the weekend. And some rain, but not bad. Can't complain. Awful April spring hasn't sprung across most of northern USA. They're saying it was freakishly cold month across the northern USA, bringing misery to millions as they're sun starved and winter weary days. So today should be gorgeous. Ooh, speaking of gorgeous, mm. man, did I look good, doesn't that? Yes, Jaime, you did. All right, let's talk. We went to the big <laughs> hospital gala. My fault. I was running about an hour behind. So yeah. by the time I got there, hey, there we are, it getting ready to, long to go. Get ready. Uh, hey, how come mm. I look so short? I look like the same size as Ray Neese. <laughs> How'd that happen? There's Roy, Gwen, Carlene, Ray. I'm look look short. trying to hold Maddie. That's Maddie, the little one. Uh, that's Ray in the middle. Carlene, yeah, I saw some shots of you the other night. I never can't get out of my mind. <laughs> low, uh, low, low, low. Anyway, <laughs> where's that other shot? And yes. You take me to all the fine places. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me tell y'all a quick one here. When I, I still got some left over. I hope you do. We ended up Gwen and Roy Williams the other night at midnight at the Crystal. In Athens on Highway 72. I'm giving Gwen 100% credit. She's like, let's go to Crystals. I'm I tell like, you what. Crystals. After a all after a night out all night, me staying up without taking a nap. Yes. I should have showed but, the picture know, with you with your head you, on the you, table. You paid to go to the gate, and they did a great job. Got to give a shout out to Kelly and everybody this morning. Uh, Ke yeah, Kelly, Kelly and uh, Betsy and my best new buddy Shelly. Okay. Well, they got her name played. You know, because you buy a ticket, they got your name out there, Frank. Gloria Cooper. Everyone knows how to spell it. Yeah, everybody name. knows Gloria Cooper. <laughs> and then I see my name. Hmm. Y'all can read it out on my new sign out front. <laughs> Jaime Cooper. <laughs> Welcome to the Jaime I Cooper said, Show. I said, hey. Well, at least they didn't spell it copper. I said, Shelly, come here a sec. <laughs> I've been in TV, TV business 40 years. Uh, that was funny. J-A-M-I-E. 
M O U S E. She said, I wasn't in charge of name tags. I said, Well, who was? Point them out to me. Anybody in this room? Huh? Anyway. Well, also, we'll give a shout out to the fine folks across the street. Good hanging out with Jeff Hodges, Andy Witt, and Steve Smith out Andy, there today. Andy, 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 Andy. Yeah. Andy. They had a good time. <laughs> a real good time. So, anyway. Hey, let's don't forget the rodeo gets cranking. Now, next yes. week. British Rodeo USA, Laura Terry will be with us next Friday, mm -hmm. Friday weekend, then the following Friday. Things get underway. The rodeo course is 17th, 18th. Uh, Grand Marshal is old Randy Bates this year. Mm -hmm. So they'll have the parade on May 11th at, uh, at 2 p.m. Lineups 1 o'clock at the arena. Free pony rides at Western over at the Preston's that week also. Street dance is on the 14th. Uh, Jeff Whitlow, country band out of Decatur, be they doing a big jet deal over that way. Yeah. All right. If y'all been watching the news this morning, I am so sick and tired when a gay person comes out of the closet, they act like it's the greatest thing since God created something. Well, well now this seven-foot NBA center has come out and said, I'm gay. They are referring to this this morning, referring to this as... As big as, you know, and you know the movie Jackie Robinson 42 is that with Lucas Black from Speak right. in it. They, and he was the first black ball player in Major League Baseball. They are saying this is as big a sports story as that. No way. That's what they're saying. No This way. is as big a story as Jack. Why are they saying that? That's oh, uh, it's got all the tweets here. Kobe Bryant, proud of you, man. Uh, Chelsea Clinton, like somebody really wants to hear from her, <laughs> quotes in USA Today, very proud of my friend Jason College for having the strength and courage to be the first openly gay player in the NBA. Gag me with a friggin' maggot. Do y'all really care? No comparison. I mean, really, do you really care? Brad says they have to say that. Well, I ain't politically correct on this show. I mean, okay, so what? We know. But come on. I mean, oh, How, what? what's next? Really, what's next? No telling. Give me my biblical verse. <laughs> Someone okay. actually sent this to you, Gary. Yeah, a good buddy of mine. I'll give him Gary Ryan, my good. buddy I went to college with. That's funny. For those who haven't heard, this, this is right in line with this, Washington State just passed both laws, gay marriage and legalized marijuana. The fact that gay marriage and marijuana were legalized on the same day makes perfect biblical sense because, what is it, Frank? Leviticus? Leviticus. Leviticus. Leviticus 2013 in the Bible says, if a man lies with another man, they should be stoned. <laughs> if a man lies with another man, they should be stoned. Uh, all that interpretation, huh? I'm just telling you, I'm just... <laughs> Great. I mean, I know everybody's got their own views and everything, and it's okay. If you're gay, you're gay. But come on, enough's enough. <laughs> it's just the enough's tip enough. of the iceberg. It's going to be all over. It, it ain't his <laughs> fault. <laughs> it's it's what, the way the media's playing it out. I know. Mm -hmm. True. It ain't that big of friggin' news. But why am I doing it? Because it's that big of friggin' <laughs> news. But I'm doing it from the different aspect, saying, hey, so what? Get off of it. Let it go. How do they compare him to a great... Uh, Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Uh, different story. Okay. Let's move on. Let's forget about that. Let's get on to some other things here. I did read in Decatur Daily this morning. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Bill Ming, and hopefully Mayor Rupp Marks will be with us later. says, according to Harold Whale, City Council President of Athens, Bill Ming is working one end of 72 to the other. <laughs> this in the Decatur Daily, I think it was Saturday. It says here that Bill's got things going on. According to uh, well, the Limestone County's expanding population and high 72 traffic, which is right here on 351 where Lawler's is, mm -hmm. says here that a new Jax is going to be opening up right down the highway beside Reliance Bank. Dairy Queen is right there next to Matthew's Chick-fil-A. Okay. Touchdown Wings, a family-owned Tennessee-based oh. chain, is planned to open where Cotton John's stayed open about five months right Maybe in front of Railroad Bazaar. Jacks, I just told you about that. Dollar General will start construction of a new store in May uh, on Pike Road. Redstone Federal is planning a new office beside Sportsplex right down here on this road. Wow. 7,500 square foot retail office building is scheduled for construction in front of Publix next to Bank Independent where you can go by and see nice. my buddy Ray Nice. Construction began in January in the Alabama shops, a 32,000 square foot shopping center adjacent to Walmart. Dollar Tree will anchor that. 
Also, Herbs and more will be moving to that location. And also, First National Bank will be opening. The First National Bank will be opening Street. downtown. Yeah. So, with that in mind, y'all know what I figured I'll do? I'm going to open up me a restaurant. Let me guess. Hooters. That Hooters is celebrating, Frank, 40 years in business. They are referred to as the original restaurant. <laughs> Recipe, their success here. They are changing the way the uniforms after 40 years. Really? They, you know, 40 years ago don't really seem like that long ago anymore, does it? No, it doesn't. What um, will they look like? I don't know. It don't say yet. Hmm. It says here, but Hooters has uh, was the restaurants usually do not stay in business over two years, but it says here now Hooters oh, will be minutes? coming out with some new stuff here. They're the granddaddy of the category. Hooters uniform about to enter the 21st century. Only two things are certain to stay the same. The shorts will remain neon orange, and the t-shirts will stay white. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's the only thing I went in there to see anyway. What? When's Don't they have good chicken? Yeah, that's why you go to Hooters. When was the last time you were at Hooters? <sighs> that long ago, huh? <laughs> uh, how long have we been living here? Six, seven years? Mm -hmm. I ain't been there since we've been living here. I guess they need one. No, of wait, it's been a long time. Long time. A long time. Maybe, maybe I need to get with Bing, get with Bill, and see if I can get a Hooters in here. <laughs> All right, Jaime. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I just, I just need some investors. I just need some investors to get started with. Oh. Hey, uh, they had an article times anything. over the weekend talking about uh, whose colors do you wear. <laughs> talking about the Alabama Auburn A Day games. Well, everybody, you know, you've seen basically the the old typical. Uh, stuff there. Then you All see right. the typical houndstooth overalls, you know, stuff like that. But then I saw this really, this out of the uh, paper. This was really the, my weirdest one right here. This guy here, Dick and Harriet Glenn show off their spirit during Auburn's A-Day game. Look at that shirt. Looks that like looks like his shirt's shirt. open. Yeah. Now that, like yeah, I got to give him credit. That, the only other person I've seen wear one of those was Brad Golson, our director. His wife dressed up. Of course, him. he just wears his shirt open most of the time, so it just looks like he's wearing that. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's something here. If y'all have said USA Today this morning, millennials, now that's age group from like 18 to 35 right now. It says you people, even though you may have a college education, you do not know how to do an interview. According to this report here, it says uh, people come in for an interview and some bring their pet with them. No. Some people text. Are you While they're, um, the majority of people are doing this, Leave and others even take calls, <gasps> and they come so casually dressed, they think there's nothing to it. Don't wear flip-flops. Human Resource Pros say they've seen recent grads take calls, mm -hmm. text, dress inappropriately, use slang or overly casual language, and exhibit oddball behavior. It says mm -hmm. the reason for this is 18 to 34, they grew up texting, using smartphones, and have no social skills. Mm. Their worth, work ethic sucks. <laughs> Stinks. A man in his late 20s brought his father for a 45-minute interview. Oh, Helicoptering parents. <laughs> Says uh, health insurance provided the father of a recent graduate who received an offer of a sales job called to negotiate a higher salary for his son. Wow. A college senior brought her cat into an interview for a buyer's position with American Eagle. <laughs> She set the crate house cat on the interviewer's desk and played like it hit me. Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> I would not complete an interview if that were the case. You, I would dismiss them early. People 18 to 34, no offense, Abby. Y'all don't know what you're doing. She's got a job. You have. <laughs> she today, shows up every day. <laughs> she, she got one by, well, we won't even go into that part. No, no, we have had some that got a job by default, but yet they still didn't make the cut. Brad used to dress up and wear Brad, we inherited you. We didn't interview you. <laughs> so anyway. He's a keeper. When you go to a job, at least when I went, I've only had like one job interview in all my <laughs> life. But I did dress up and was there on time. Most people show up late, too casual, texting, calling, bringing their pet, I not really caring. Pet. Get a job, losers. All right, we'll take a break. <laughs> Be right back in just a moment. I got a lot of news to talk about this morning, too. Y'all hang on. Yeah.